what is up pretty people a hey, precious popping in for this tutorial okay listen we're gonna get straight to the point before i waste time this is another giveaway video yes i know another one just like dj khaled said another one okay i teamed up with my two nail tuber friends slay by j and swales nails beauty to bring y'all this small nail tuber giveaway for y'all listen i have awesome stuff in my giveaway they have awesome stuff in theirs y'all should go over to their pages and check out all of their videos because they make awesome content i make awesome content so you guys should just you know once you're done with this video and you watch it completely in its entirety till the very end because there will be you know a part of the giveaway is you need to say my favorite color and i don't mention that until i don't even know i'm not gonna tell y'all so make sure that you watch this entire video and then go on to their collab and watch their entire video because y'all you guys could potentially win all three giveaways no you can't you can't win all three but if you enter all three you have a higher chance of winning at least one so definitely do that peep their pages and tell them that you're part of pretty people gang and that precious sent you okay listen this set today honey we're going for that big nail energy like femi beauty says we're going for big nail energy today honey okay we're doing some do-it-yourself raw glitter poly gel nails and it's perfect for beginners because i'm a beginner and this is a beginner channel okay so this is not anything that really takes a lot of skill because i don't have that much skill honestly y'all swear that i have so much i don't i <laughs> just i just practice that's it so as long as y'all are willing to practice you can also achieve this set so our collab a part of our collab was we had to each choose a designer to do so i chose chanel because you know we expensive over here okay we're real real expensive and i just felt like chanel needed something sharp it needed a stiletto tip it needed it needed raw glitter it needed white poly gel it needed chameleon poly gel it needed black gel polish i just went real intense with this set and you know i hope y'all appreciate it because this is definitely out of my comfort zone i usually am more of a coffin tapered school square type of gal okay but you know we do different things on this channel like i said we are multifaceted i know that y'all said it with me so we have to try something new i am finally going in with my black yoyogi poly gel i have tried these chameleon color changing poly gels before i will link the video in the cards but i wasn't able to use this one so because i had this black dark mistress type of vibe in my head for these nails i wanted to use the black poly gel but i mean what was i thinking it's color changing it's not gonna stay black but y'all anyways i end up painting on top of these nails later on because i love how opaque the black is here but of course once i warm them up or go into the sun they're gonna turn the pale grayish color that the color changing poly gel does change too so i wasn't really thinking fully i wasn't critically thinking about that but that's okay you know it's my channel i can do what i want so i'm gonna do what i want <laughs> but i hope you guys are cool with it i mean i you guys are cool with it i know you're cool with it but anyways this poly gel is so easy to work with it's a dream you guys know yayogi poly gel that's my jam right there oh by the way yayogi did up my coupon code from 15 percent to 25 percent off y'all that's a steal okay and yayogi's poly gel is extremely extremely affordable and when i say affordable i don't mean affordable like the girls that are saying oh my god yeah they're ten dollars each they're affordable like no 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 no, 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 no. You can get a kit damn near for $10. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Y'all sleeping on your yogi. But anyways, I am starting off with a bead at my tip. And then I'm going to go in with a cuticle bead after I finish curing all of my tips. <laughs> cure all my tips i do go in with a small cuticle bead to form my apex as y'all can see when you cure these nails or when you cure this color changing poly gel the color goes from a black dark as y'all can see a very black color when it's cold to a light gray when it's warm i like that i love that it doesn't go to clear like it actually still maintains some pigment and i appreciate that about you yogi so i do notice that this black poly gel changes colors a lot faster than the other poly gels in my opinion i mean maybe i just need to 
try them out more i did only use them all once and it was a marble design so who knows how that changes things <laughs> Isn't it so satisfying watching me push this poly gel up towards my cuticle? Oh, I've really gotten so much better with cuticle work. That is one thing I will say I've improved on. And building the structure of my nails. Like these nails, my nails never break off. Even though I use, okay, I can't say that because I use peel off base coat. But I anticipate that they never break because my apexes be hitting, honey, okay? They high, they, they sit high, I'll say that. But yes, I'm just blending this cuticle bead up towards the top and forming my structure for this nail. I'm trying to maintain the shape as well as possible so that I can reduce my filing later. I am doing these three nails black and I'm going to do the other two white because I planned on using black designer Chanel foil stickers on those three nails as well as the black holographic raw glitter and then on these two nails that I'm putting the white on I am planning on doing a different design honey I really was kind of freestyling this I had a design in mind but then I tried to execute it and it looked insert screeching noise it was freaking scary like it looked like it it looked like the actual movie it like blood and it just was not working for me okay <laughs> I decided to cap my white nails with some builder gel because I didn't want to file through um, the opacity that I created and I am known to go ham with the filing so I just wanted to protect that beautiful white that I laid down oh the white so beautiful anyway I'm cleaning off that sticky layer with a little bit of alcohol and then I'm going to begin filing I am using my new favorite file I got this in the dip kit that I purchased recently there is a video that will be posted on that coming soon sometime next week so stay tuned for that but I love this file it's 180 grit and I'm just going and shaping up my nails making sure that they're extra extra sharp okay we need these to like you look at them and you feel a little bit of a ah a little slice that's how sharp I want them so I am running my finger over my nail and just buffing it out to make sure that I have no lumps and bumps and we are going to transition into these ah obsessed I did build my apex really well except for my ring finger I'm not sure why it was so flat if I had a plan but you know scratch all that because we are going into giveaway time Woo! So the winner will receive three different poly gels from Rossi and Yayogi. They are completely untouched, fully sealed, okay, ready to go. They will also receive these leaf flakes for nail art.
you'll get poly gel liquid, you'll get this UV lamp, you'll get some top coat base coat, and you will get this blue glitter as well as a pretty pretty gold glitter, okay? You will get a poly gel brush, you'll get an 8100 grit file, you will also get some dual forms from McCart, completely sealed, and you will be able to decide between some of these striping tapes and some of these nail stickers, okay? So make sure you enter the giveaway, pay attention, watch this video in its entirety because I will be mentioning some things upcoming that you will need in order to enter the giveaway. So pay attention, listen to what I'm saying, okay? I know I ramble, but pay attention. So we are going in with some black Model 1's gel polish because I wanted to have a dark base for my transfer foils and for my glitter. I am going to use raw glitter, raw holographic glitter, okay, on this nail that I'm painting now. And I'm going to use transfer foils on my other two nails that I'm painting. So I wanted to make sure that they had a good base so that in case there was anything showing through, it would be black and it would just make the look cohesive. You know what I mean? I feel like it's so satisfying to watch people paint nails. I've gotten so much better at painting my nails I used to be trash like I used to have nail polish everywhere but you know maybe it's because I have more patience with myself I'm a more patient individual so now we're gonna go in with our foil glue I do use this star foil glue but that's because it's the only one I have it's the only one I've tried if anyone has a better one please drop it in the description box below in the description box in the comments y'all y'all know what I meant in the comments okay help me out so I'm laying down this holographic black Chanel foil and I'm going to really work it into the sticky foil glue because I want a really clean transfer. I do um, go back and lay the foil back down after I start to pull it up because I noticed that some of it was not transferring fully. So I do go back and lay it back down but that's okay. It comes out clean. Okay, you're going to see. So I lift it up and right here I was like, uh-uh, it needs more time to marinate. So I just scrub out some of the Chanel um, the Chanel signs that weren't transferring and I peel it back and I got a pretty darned clean transfer. It looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to do the same thing on my pinky and then we're going to go in with our glitter. Okay, so this is the raw holographic glitter that I was talking about, y'all. It is so gorgeous. I'm glad that the camera was able to pick up all of the different colors that it was giving in this. Like, mm, so satisfying to pour this glitter on top. Because this is a raw glitter nail, I'm not going to top coat this. I'm just going to... I put a layer of top coat in order to adhere these glitters, but I'm not going to put any top coat or encapsulate it basically. I'm not going to encapsulate it. It's going to be raw, so it's going to have texture and some of the flakes might come off. But you know, this is for aesthetic purposes only, you know? But this is, um, yeah, I'm just looking at the color like, good lord. That is so pretty. I'm tapping off all of the excess glitter and I'm just cleaning up around my cuticles with the other side of my cuticle pusher. Look at that. Mmm. Okay, now I am top coating my thumb just so that I can cure it and you know that finger is done and I don't have to worry about hitting it and potentially messing up the foil because it does stay sticky if you don't top coat it. I am taking some of my glitters that I got from Wish and I just kind of winged this nail. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. I had a Chanel sticker on it at first but it just was so boring. I was like okay, okay, they know this is a Chanel set. Like not every finger has to be Chanel. So I decided to go in and strategically place these little red glitters on my nail and then I'm also going to go in with some crystals and place those in like a similar fashion. It came, I love this nail, it came out so cute. So 
these are some Chanel stickers that I got from Hot Tips Beauty. Okay, they will be linked in the description box below. I love these stickers. And they're pretty, they're relatively inexpensive. I mean, for fast shipping. AliExpress, of course, they're going to be like 80 cents. But you won't get those for months and I don't have time. So I snipped off one of the little pieces of the Chanel, like, length. I don't even know what to call those. And then I picked, I snipped off one of these little pieces from a different Chanel um, sticker set that I also got from Hot Tips and I'm just laying them down on my nail. I do suggest that you put a layer of base coat before doing this. I don't know who I thought I was. These aren't sticky enough to just lay here without moving if you want to put something on top of them. Like I encapsulated the top with this Rossi White Milky White Poly Gel because I wanted it to be like a fade into like a darker Chanel. You know what I mean? You guys will see the vibe I'm going for. But it was lifting the sticker because I it wasn't laid down fully. So I suggest putting a layer of base coat before you apply your stickers on your nail if you're going to put something on top of it. So I'm applying some builder gel and then I'm going to top coat that builder gel without curing it. I'm going to apply top coat on top and then lay my perimeter gems. That's what I'm going to call them. I don't know what they're really called, but I'm going to lay my perimeter gems on my pinky. And y'all, how are you liking this set so far? I thought I low-key wouldn't like it because I've never done black nails, you know? I'm a very, like, kind of a girly girl when it comes to nails. I like pink. Rose gold is my favorite color, so I usually do nails that are pink, gold, white gold, you know? Not really black but i'm very into this it's giving me halloween vibes but not in like a a cliche type of way like in a oh i'm a bad bee and i also celebrate halloween now what you know what i mean so i'm just saying you know i like these nails so comment down below how you're feeling so far would y'all wear these nails even if you wouldn't you know let me know I'm applying another layer of top coat to my thumb because you can never have enough top coat, okay? And then I'm top coating the rest. I am putting top coat on top of the crystals because they're not real, so it really doesn't matter if you top coat the top. Um, and I wanted them to stick. And then I'm top coating the rest of my nails except the glitter nail that is going to be a raw glitter nail, so no top coat. And then I'm going to add some red crystals to my Chanel nail just to, you know, tie it in with the red scheme that I have a little bit on my other nail, so... You know, we gotta be cohesive on this channel. We're very cohesive. I'm using this uh, katana to scrape away some of the glitter that's on the perimeter of my finger. We're going in with this cuticle oil that I got from my dip kit. Um, you guys will see how I feel about that in my next video. I'm rubbing it in and then we're doing some beauty shots. I had to take y'all outside so you can really see what it's giving in the light. Y'all, that holographic nail with the glitter. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I love this set. I love that I stepped out of the box. I really, really, really love it. I just love it. But okay, y'all, make sure that you enter the giveaway. Make sure that you go on to Slay by J and Swales Nails Beauty's pages and shout me out, okay? Say that I sent you. But before you go there, make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe this video right now. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye.